Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. It is a big day here at Hot and Flashy because today is the day that the launch of the brush set that I developed with BK Beauty goes live. Today is the day that orders will start going out the door and my brush set will be on its way to you if you order today or if you pre-ordered over the last couple of days. If you did purchase them or are going to purchase them, I just wanted to say thank you so much for supporting me and my channel and BK Beauty and just, you know, for giving us the love that you have shown us throughout the years. So thank you so much for that. This collection is so near and dear to my heart. I designed each each of these brushes myself. It's not like BK came to me and said, hey, we have some brushes, we want you to put your name on them. They came and said, we'd like you to develop a set of brushes. You can do whatever you want. And what I wanted to do was develop a set of brushes specifically for mature women who have less than perfect skin, which doesn't seem like it should be a thing, but if you're here and you're mature, then you understand that the struggle is real. I've always felt like I couldn't find the exact brushes that I needed to get my makeup on right. So given the opportunity to design my brushes, I designed a set of brushes that would help me to get especially my eye makeup on, but I also developed a really special brush, which is this under eye concealer brush and I also included a blush brush. So it's a seven piece set. There are five eyeshadow brushes and two face brushes. So if you're interested in ordering the brush set today, I'll put a link in the info box below the video. It's $125 for the seven piece set, but you can use my discount code Angie10 for 10% off and shipping is free for all US orders. So for seven brushes, I believe that's around $16 a brush, which is an unheard of price for brushes of this quality. I can tell you from having used these over the last couple of months, they wash up perfectly. They never shed a hair. They are the softest, the most beautiful, the most luxurious brushes I have ever used. And I just love them so much. And I love how they help me get my eyeshadow on in particular without tugging at my loose skin of my eyelids. <laughs> you know, these are things we have to talk about being older. We don't enjoy that part of it, but it is what we have to deal with and so why not have tools that help you to deal with that help you get your makeup on better so that you don't have to walk away from makeup when you get to be more mature i kind of developed this set for two different kinds of mature women one who doesn't wear a ton of makeup and one who is really into makeup and i wanted to have a set that both those users could use so i'm going to start out today's tutorial just doing a really basic quick out the door five minute makeup look no foundation for those of you who don't wear much makeup but you never leave the house without your concealer without your blush and without something going on on your eyes and then i'm gonna add more makeup we're gonna amp it up for the day and i'm gonna show you how i really use these brushes in many different ways because they are all multitaskers so let's start the tutorial as always i have to pin my oops oh my gosh first i have to knock over everything on my desk then I have to pull my hair back. <laughs> All right, so I do wear tinted sunscreen every day and it does even out my skin tone a bit. I do have some darkness and some puffiness under my eyes that my sunscreen is not disguising. So I do like to wear a little bit of concealer every day. And so to put on my concealer, I developed a concealer brush and that is the A506 brush. This is like the game changer brush because this is based on the BK Beauty 101 brush. This is hands down my absolute favorite foundation brush that I've ever used and it applies my foundation so seamlessly and beautifully that I thought, what if we just shrunk it down into a smaller brush that would fit right at the inner corner and blend out the concealer as well as the BK 101 blends out foundation. And sure enough, it worked like a charm. This guy is amazing. So let me grab my concealer. The concealer I'm using today is my new favorite Lancome Tint Edol. I feel that when you're you know, more mature, less is more with concealer. You can, of course, go right from the doe foot, but I am gonna put some of this on the back of my hand and I'm gonna use one of the eyeshadow brushes to do the transfer because if you are never gonna use a shimmer eyeshadow, you still are gonna get this brush, the A505 in the set and I don't want you to not have a use for it. So this can be a multitasker in a couple of different ways. You can use it to put on 
a little bit of under eye concealer, grab a little bit of it, and then I'm just gonna paint it right here at the inner corner of my eye just to get the concealer on where I need it. And then I put a little bit out here as well. And then I'm gonna go in with the A506 and blend that out. And you're gonna see how beautifully this blends. Now I use this in a patting motion just like I used to use my finger to blend my concealer. It doesn't give any streak marks. It doesn't leave any like texture like a sponge would. It doesn't lift away all the pigment like a sponge would. So you get nice full coverage, good pigmentation there. But look how perfectly it applies it. It's just such a beautiful, such a seamless blend. It's just gorgeous. I love this brush. It's so good. And look how it fits right in that area. But yet it's big enough that it doesn't have any problem blending the concealer down underneath my eye and brightening up that whole under eye area. Now I also like to use the longer edge of this to put a little bit of concealer down by the sides of my nose because my nose tends to be a little bit red. And let's take a look at that up close. I want to show you how beautifully this blends that concealer. Can you see how gorgeous, how seamless that blend is? You can't even see where it ends, but yet you can see the coverage here compared to this eye where I still have this kind of purpley pinkish underneath my eye. Look how beautiful that is. The blush brush in my collection is the A507 brush and I did an angled tapered blush brush. It's thicker on this side and thinner on this side because the way that I like to apply blush is to have it lift my face and lift my cheeks. Now this brush will work great with both liquid blush and powder blush. So let me go ahead and do the powder blush on this side. I'm gonna use the NARS Orgasm blush today. So we're just gonna pick up a little bit of blush right on the tips of the brush fibers at the highest point. You don't really wanna get the shorter hairs full of the blush because that's how it's gonna do the blending for you. And then I just start high on my cheekbone and I just bring it forward. And that way it accentuates my whole cheek from front to back. I work it sideways and then I turn it up and down and just blend it in circular motions. And then I get the most beautiful blend, the most natural looking blush. So let me show you a cream blush on the other side. This one is gonna be the Honest Beauty Cream Cheek Flush in coral peach. So I just pick it up with my finger and then I kind of apply it the same. I start high on my cheekbone and bring it forward. Now this is super pigmented, look at that. But we are gonna be able to blend that out with this brush the same way I did before and use it sideways to drag it forward. And then we're gonna just turn it the other way to blend it in. So even if you apply a little bit too much at first, this brush will definitely blend it out so perfectly, so beautifully. Even if I'm doing a two color eyeshadow to be out the door quickly, I still use an eyelid primer for my eyeshadow. It just keeps it on better, helps it to blend better. So I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Primer Potion today. And I'm just gonna pop a little bit of that on each eyelid. Now again, if you are not gonna use shimmer shadow and you wanna use the A505, you can use that to blend out your eyelid primer. I usually do it with my finger and my finger is just like a little bit too big here and it kind of gets it down into my under eye concealer sometimes and I do not love that. I designed the eyeshadow brushes so that you would just use them in order one to five. So the A501 brush is your lid shader. That's going to apply your eyeshadow on the movable part of the lid. This is usually going to be a matte colored shadow. The palette I'm going to use today is this Wet n Wild Color Icon Nude Awakening palette. So I'm going to first dip into this lightest matte color here in the palette I'm on the flat side of the brush and I'm going to apply that to my lid in a pressing motion just to really pack that lightest color on. Now what I love about this brush is that the fibers are just the right length and just the right softness so that it picks up a good amount of color. I like good color payout. In order to get your hooded sagging lids to disguise the sagging part of the hood, you really need good color payout with your lightest shade here on the movable lid because what you're trying to do is create the illusion of a bigger movable lid. That's the area below the crease. So from here down, you're creating the illusion that that part is bigger. And then you're also creating the illusion that this part recedes 
and is in shadow more. So if I come in close and you look at my eyes, you can see that my upper part of my lid is kind of just swallowing up the movable part of my lid. It's laying right on my eyelashes. And so by doing this technique where you make this light and bright, that is gonna make that lid appear so much bigger. With the soft, fluffy fibers, it doesn't really move your skin around that much. I have these little tiny crinkles at the inner corner of my upper eyelid. So I just take my brush and at the inner corner, I just give it a little wiggle back and forth just to make sure that it's really getting into those creases. So then when I open my eye, you don't see creases in my eyeshadow. All right, now the next shade, you could use the A502 or you can use the A503. If it is a light enough shade, you can use the A503. If it's a little bit of a darker shade, I would use the A502 because that is gonna put it deeper into the crease and it's not gonna spread a too dark color up too high. I'm gonna be using this color here, the second color in the palette, but I haven't used it before, so I'm not sure how it's gonna go. So I'm gonna go with the A502 first. And I'm just gonna dip the tip of the brush in there. I'm not gonna roll it in sideways. I don't want the color all on the sides of the brush. I just want it on the tip of the brush. So I'm just gonna pick up a little color, tap it off, and then I'm gonna put this brush deep in the crease. I'm gonna draw it down to my eyelashes from the crease, and then I'm just gonna make little circular motions following the curve of the eyeball. And you see how this doesn't put it on in a harsh way, like it's already starting to blend that color out where you're not seeing any harsh lines or anything. That's what is so great about the shapes of these brushes. I had these brushes cut and shaped specifically so that they weren't flat across the top so that they're tapered. And that way the brush does the blending for you. And if you hold your brush farther out at the end, that gives you a much softer touch with your brush so that you won't be pulling the skin of your eyelid around. We could then go ahead and put on a coat of mascara and that's it. You're done with your makeup and you're out the door and ready to go. All right, so I'm just gonna put on a little mascara and then we're gonna go in with the rest of the makeup. I'm gonna show you some other uses for the brushes and we will also amp up the eyeshadow. I am gonna add some foundation, so let me just do that really quickly. Foundation I'm gonna use is L'Oreal True Match Nude, and this is in the shade two to three light. And I'm gonna use my BK 101 brush to apply it. And I'm also gonna put on some brow pomade. For this, I'm gonna use the A505 brush, just to show you that there are lots of different uses for this one. This is the Benefit Pow Made Brow Pomade. I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of that on the tip of the brush, and then it has this cool little scraper in there. I'm gonna scrape it off, and then I'm just gonna use this to apply my brow pomade. So, you know, you, normally you would use an angled brush for this, or the other end of a spoolie, something like that. But, you know, if you're a beginner to makeup and you have zero brushes and you buy this set, I just wanted to show you all the different ways that you could use it. Because this one is super flat and super dense, it really is great at putting on things like lipstick, eyebrows, and of course, the thing that it was developed for, shimmer shadows, which I love, but I get questions from my audience, you know, more mature viewers all the time saying, you know, I'm kind of afraid of shimmer shadow. I see you using it. I think it looks nice on you, but you know, I've heard that I'm not supposed to use it because I'm whatever, over 50 or whatever age society said, we're not allowed to use shimmer and have fun with makeup anymore. And I think part of the reason that people shy away from it is because shimmer can accentuate wrinkles. But with a brush like this, you can get your shimmer eyeshadow on just where you want it instead of getting shimmer and glitter flags all over your face, which is what I think accentuates the wrinkles. I'm gonna go back to the A506 brush because I am gonna put a little bit more concealer. I'm gonna contour my nose and contour around my face a little bit and you can use this brush for that. So I'm just gonna take the uh, same concealer that I had before and I'm just gonna put a dot of it there and a couple dots down my nose. I want a little bit in here. So I have turned it sideways so that I'm using the long hairs to really get in here by the side of my nose. And then I use the flat part to press it and blend it. You can use it to make your nose look straighter just by 
putting a highlight kind of down the center of your nose. But look how beautifully this brush blends the concealer all over your face. So if you have a blemish, you can use it to put concealer on your blemish. It's just such a good multitasker, but you can also use it to blend out your contour. So for my contour today, I'm gonna to use the KVD Gel Contour. So I just contour a little bit around the edges of my forehead. And this is nice because it keeps it close to your hairline where you want it. Using a bigger brush will blend the contour further, but using a small brush like this really keeps it very controlled and exactly where you want it so that your contour doesn't end up coming too far down your forehead. I love this one, especially for doing the contour on my nose because it's very difficult to get it quite right. So my nose is kind of long, so I do a little end contour like that. And I also have these funny little nose bumps. So I like to make my nose look a little bit straighter. And then I just use this brush to blend it out. Then I can just use the longer hairs on this to really control where this contour is going and then blend it kind of down the side. I had actually stopped contouring my nose for a bit because I didn't have a brush that really made the contour come out looking good. But since I've gotten this brush, I've started doing it again. Of course, I usually do a little bit of sculpting out the cheeks and the jawline. You know, and I talked before about makeup being used to lift your face. This is how you lift your face, by doing a little bit of contouring. So you wanna be very deliberate with how you put it on. And with this brush, you really get a nice sharp chiseled line and you really control where you're putting your contour. I already demoed the blush, but let me just go ahead because I covered it over with makeup. I'm just gonna put it on again. This brush is so soft, it doesn't pull at my skin when I'm applying the blush. I'm also gonna apply a little bit of highlighter. I'm gonna use a Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I start it back here and I just do like three little dots, and I'm gonna use the A507 to blend that out too. Just make sure that I keep it high on my cheekbone, and you can get your highlighter to be really diffused by using a brush that's this soft and this fluffy. Look at that pretty highlight. It really makes the cheek pop. All right, let's go back to the Wet n Wild palette, and I'm gonna use the tiniest of the eyeshadow brushes. This is the A504. This is so perfect for mature people to do like a more dressed up eye because you can keep the darker eyeshadow just where you want it. When I first started trying to do like a smoky eye or a more dramatic eye, I got the darker eyeshadow everywhere. Tiny, tiny brushes work the best, for getting the eyeshadow on right where you want it. So I'm gonna go ahead and dip into this lovely kind of rusty maroon color here. I'm just gonna press the tip of it in. And again, because it's just on the tip of the brush, it's gonna start doing the blending for you. So I'm gonna start this at the outer corner of my eye. I'm gonna put it in the crease and just draw it down to my eyelashes. And then I'm just gonna go into the crease using the tiniest little circular motions and I'm gonna bring that across. And if it is uh, dragging your skin around a little bit, which, you know, once you're 59, <laughs> your skin is pretty loose and it is gonna get dragged around no matter how soft the brush is, you can just lift up on your eyebrow and make that nice and smooth so that you can get the brush in there. And you really wanna establish that cut crease so that you have the lightest shade on your entire eyelid you're maintaining that lightness there, and this shade is only from the crease and above. So that's really what's gonna make that hood recede. I'm just gonna take a little bit more of that and coat about the outer third of my eyelid, the movable part of my lid with that shade. Then I'm gonna go in with the blending brush, which is the A503 brush. And again, this is the one that I've kept clean. And I'm just gonna put that right on top of that eyeshadow and in nice, circular motions, I'm just gonna blend that out. And when I'm blending, I use much bigger motions so that I can get the eyeshadow up a little bit higher so that you just have like this little bit of lightness right below your brow. I think on this eye, I could use a little bit more of the medium tone. So I'm actually gonna take the 503, the blending brush, and I'm gonna dip it right into the medium transition color that we used, which was this one. So I'm just gonna dip the tip in there. So I'm just gonna ever so lightly coat that with that light to medium matte color. So I'm gonna go back in with the A504 to really amp up the darkness out there. I'm gonna dip into this really dark green color here. And with this color, I'm not gonna bring it across in the crease. I'm just gonna keep that right down at the lash line just to darken up 
the outer corner there. And see how with this brush being so tiny, I can just keep the color right there at the lash line. Like with all of them, it starts doing the blending for you. So you put it on and you get a nice diffused color. And then I'm gonna go back to the 503 and blend that in a little bit more. Now it's time to go in with the 505. Now this brush is so different from all the rest because it's a flat brush. So this one is great at picking up the shimmer eyeshadow and laying it down exactly where you want it and not getting shimmer all over your face. First, I'm gonna pick up this medium tone shimmer right here and I am gonna apply this on the flat side of the brush. So rather than doing the tip like I've been doing with the others, I'm just gonna lay the flat side of this in here and that's gonna pick up some shimmer shadow. Then I'm gonna take that and I'm just going to press it from the crease and drag it down to my eyelashes in the center of my eye and look at how it lays down that shimmer. You can apply a shimmer at the inner corner with this and not get it all into your under eye concealer, which is very important. Now I'm gonna dip into this purple color here because this has a little bit of a sheen to it. Look at that gorgeous color. You're gonna dip the flat side right in there. So I'm gonna lay it down from the crease down to my eyelashes, and then I'm gonna use the brush to just give it a little wiggle and blend it part way across so it blends in with that other shimmer color. And then I'm gonna use the tip of the brush to just drag it across and I am almost using this brush to kind of make a little bit of eyeliner. Looks like I might have a little fallout here so I'm just gonna take a little tape roll and just gently dab. Okay, but let's finish it off. Let's add a little eyeliner. I'm using Makeup Forever Aqua Resist colored pencil. This one is in bronze. I'm just gonna tight line the uppers. For the lower eyeliner, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Sephora Waterproof Retractable Liner in Shimmering Taupe. Hit the waterline with that because this is a lovely shimmery color. Last thing for the look is a little lip liner. So I'm going to use my NYX Slide On Glide On Gel Liner Pencil in Alluring. And for the lips, I'm gonna use KVD, whatever this is called, in She Defined. And I'm gonna apply this with the A505 brush, just, you know, if you don't wanna use it for shimmer, we might as well give you some other uses for it. So I'm just gonna pick up the lipstick on the brush. All right, so here's the finished makeup look. This is the more dramatic, go out, maybe special occasion look using the full face of makeup, demoing all seven brushes. So as you can see, they are all multitaskers, but they all will help you to get your makeup on looking perfectly blended, looking perfectly seamless. I mean, these have really been game changers for me. And can I tell you, it has been so ridiculously hard for me not to just grab these and use them when I'm doing a tutorial over the last few months because they've been here laying on my desk waiting for today to happen. You know, there were so many times when I was doing an eyeshadow tutorial and my eyeshadow wasn't blending right and I was like, dang it, if I could just pick up my brushes and use them, this would blend out a lot better because I've been using these behind the scenes for months and my eyeshadow always comes out so much better when I use these brushes than any other brushes, and especially with the concealer brush, uh, just to have this laying there taunting me that I couldn't show it to you, it was torture. But anyway, I'm so happy that now the launch is live. Today's the day. If you're interested in purchasing a set, that would mean the world to me. Thank you so much if you do. The link is in the info box below the video along with my 10% off discount code, Angie10. Now I feel like I don't have any holes in my makeup brush collection anymore with the addition of these brushes. I'm so happy about them. I love using them. I'm so proud of them. I hope that you will love using them as well if you order them today. Uh, I know, I can't believe launch day is here. I'm so excited for it. I will be here all day looking at the comments. If you have any questions about the brushes, leave your questions in the comments below the video. So that is it for today's video, everybody. Thanks so much for everything over the years. Go ahead and give the video a like if you like it. Subscribe to my channel. As always, I thank you for your time. I really appreciate your watching. Have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>